In this second video I will explain the detailed preparation of samples for making beautiful pictures. I will select 12 samples to make the photos. Like this. I select the two martyrs that I place on each side of my samples. Then I assemble all my samples with two clamps to allow me to take them to the workshop. We are now at the workshop. To properly align my samples, I will use this sort of open box. I built this tool in order to have a right angle in these two directions. As I show you with this square, I position my samples deep inside my box. With a large clamp I will fasten all samples to the box. Now they are properly aligned, I solidarity with the two clamps. I remove the large clamp. Clamps must be tightened firmly to prevent the vibrations of the orbital sander does move the samples. After having verified that they are properly aligned, I'll use the belt sander. The belt sander that I use is the brand Hegner. It allows me to sand many samples at once. I start the aspiration, then the belt sander. I regularly check the progress of the sanding.
Here I check the squareness. After a few minutes of sanding, I check the quality of sanding, especially the absence of hollow and squareness in both directions. To polish my samples, I will now use an orbital sander brand Festerol. This sander is firmly fixed on a wooden base homemade. In front I have made a small chariot that moves parallel to the surface sanding. For sanding I will use seven different grains for my sanding discs. The first is the 120 grain. The second is the 240 grain. Now the 400 grain. Then I will use abrasive foam. The first grain is 500. Then the grain 1000. Next the grain 2000. And finally the grain 4000. All of these abrasives are brand Festerol. I put on some gloves and normally I wear a mask because the dust being extremely thin are very dangerous and can cause cancer of the ethmoid. I put in place the disc with a 120 grain. The length of sanding with this grain is about 2 minutes. After those 2 minutes I clean the surface to control if there are no more crosswise stripes from the belt sander. Now I use the 240 grain.
the next grain will be the 400. Between each change of abrasive, I count about 1 minute and 15 seconds of sanding. Now I will use on foam abrasives beginning with 500 grain. These abrasives have the particularity to round the outer edge of the samples. This is why I place two martyrs on both sides of my samples. It will be these two martyrs who will be rounded, and my samples have a perfectly flat surface. I place the grain 1000. Now is the 2000 grain. We now see that the surface is starting to get brighter. Now I place the last series of abrasive. Grain is 4000. The Festoral Company does not manufacture abrasives with finer grains. Now you can see that the surface is perfectly polished and shines like a mirror. The preparation of samples is finished and we return to the photo lab.
here with this binocular eye control if my samples are well polished and if there is no more visible scratches. With this video taken directly from the camera you can enjoy the quality of the sanding. Our samples are now ready for the pictures. I'll meet you at the third video and I will explain in detail the shooting.